Oh, almost there. Just a little bit more. Okay, so um, this next album is a massive jump from pretty much every other album I've talked about so far, but I really, really like this album. Um, I hadn't actually heard it when I first got it. I got it because my girlfriend's a big fan of this guy, and I liked the singles I heard from him a lot. I'm like, there's a couple of my favourite songs. So I, I saw it cheap in HMV one day, and I was just like, I'll get it. I'll go out on a limb and get it anyway. It is Ed Sheeran's Plus. Um, I really, really liked this album. I did listen to it when I got it on vinyl, and luckily I liked it. It would have been a shame if I didn't like it. But um, no, there are some fantastic songs on here. Songs like The 18, Drunk, um, Small Bump, The City, Lego House, You Need Me, I Don't Need You, and Give Me Love. All fantastic songs. Um, it also comes on an orange vinyl, which is really, really cool. But um, yeah, really, really dig this album. A really great, um, like, indie folk sort of singer-songwriter sort of stuff. Um, I'm not really a big fan of what he went on to to do after that. Um, plus, um, no, this is plus, um, what's the next one? Times X, whatever the fucking next one was, um, was all right. Not great, but it had some good songs on it. Um, so it's a mess I love. That's one of my favorites. And I haven't actually listened to Divide yet, even though I have it on CD and got it the day it came out. Um, I haven't listened to it. Um, I like Castle on the Hill. Um, um, the other song, Shape of You, is all right. Um, I've heard it too many times for me to really love it, though. Um, but yeah, this one's good. Next up, we have an album from my favourite singer-songwriter ever. I've got a tattoo of him right there. Or, um, like, it's a design of one of his album covers. Not this album, actually. Um, it's the only one I have on vinyl, which needs to change because it's not even my favourite album by him, but... I love him so much. It's Elliot Smith's EXO. I kind of want to hold back talking about Elliot Smith so much because um, I want to do like a big video where I just like fucking lose my shit and just go on about him for ages. Um, but EXO is a fantastic album. Has some of my favourite songs by him like Sweet Adeline, Waltz Number 2 and Waltz Number 1 actually. Independence Day, Baby Britain, Oh Well Okay, A Question Mark. It's just a fantastic album. Every single song is great. Um... I um, lean more towards um, liking either Evil or Figure Eight. I'm not really sure which one I like more. Um, I also really, really like From a Basement Under the Hill, which um, I think is kind of a forgotten one because it came out after he died. But um, it's fantastic. Um, every single album he ever did was fantastic. Um, XO's great. I need his other albums on vinyl as soon as I fucking possibly can get them. Next up, we have one of the coolest vinyls I own. Um, um, I saw it a while ago on Amazon really cheap and I was like, I, I need to own this. I, I can't just look at it and not have it. Um, and it is just a fantastic vinyl. I love it so much and I just completely forgot that the inside comes with this book attached to it and it's so fucking cool. It is the Empire Strikes Back soundtrack on gold vinyl. It's beautiful. The Empire Strikes Back is in my top three favourite films ever. I love Star Wars. The Empire Strikes Back is probably my favourite. Um, I'm not sure whether that's my favourite or The Force Awakens is my favourite, actually. I know a lot of people don't really like The Force Awakens, but I loved it. Um, I'll do a Rogue One review, actually, soon. I just remembered that it's come out on Blu-ray, so I need to review it soon, because I never did it. Um, but yeah, The Empire Strikes Back is fantastic. Amazing score. I want to own all the scores um, on Bino, including the prequels, because... Say what you will about the prequels, but there was some fantastic music in them, um, like the Jewel of the Fates in the first one, and um, I don't know the name of the song, but whatever was playing in the battle of the third one as well, all the music in them is great. John Williams is a fantastic composer, probably my favourite um, movie composer. Um, this is just a fantastic album. I um, did sit down and listen to the whole thing, and it was an experience. Um, I had a great time. Um, it's just great. Next up, we have my favourite album of the year. I'm actually wearing um, a t-shirt of this band, which wasn't intentional, but it is Dumb Blood by the band Vank. Um, this is a limited edition um, signed one, which comes on this blood splattered vinyl. I love this album. It's just fucking fantastic. Um, very political punk rock. Um, Especially on the tracks like The Answer, Put Down Your Gun, Peace and Love, Lampoon. Um, yeah, they're the most political tracks in the album. Um, 
Like it, it's just a great album. I've seen them live three times now. Um, three of the best gigs I've ever been to. Um, they even played my hometown recently, which was incredible. Um, easily the best one I've seen them do. And I saw them in London before. Um, but that show was just insane. Um, so yeah, they're a fantastic band. I cannot recommend them enough. I'll do a proper video talking about them eventually. Um, but yeah, I've got this album. I've also got like, I think this is my third shirt of them. I've got stickers, like stuff I've got from gigs, um, badges. I've also got a signed poster, which I got when I saw the band. Um, I got them to sign it. Um, so yeah. Also, I got all their um, seven inches. So we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, I promise we're almost done with the albums. So there's not long left, I promise. So I talked about Wings briefly earlier, but um, I've got Wings Greatest here. Um, this is the only Wings thing I've actually heard, so maybe their albums are shit, and I just heard their good songs, but I really like it. It's got silly love songs, Live and Let Die, Band on the Run, Jet, and Mull of Kintyre on there. All, apart from Mull of Kintyre, I really, really like it. Especially Band on the Run and Silly Love Songs. I love those songs, so Wings Greatest. It's, um, great. I tried not to say that joke, but I couldn't think of anything else. The final 12-inch. Um, and I'm going all out with this one because it's another box set. It is um, one of, no, it was my favourite album of 2015. It is Wolf Alice's and My Love Is Cool, the one year final anniversary edition. I'm not going to take it out of the box right now, so I'll show the video where I do open it out of the box, but I'll, um, so I'll actually talk about it in depth about what's inside the box. Um, but it's really cool. My favourite album of um, 2015. So, um, show the video of me opening it and shit. Okay, so, um, this is actually filmed like a month after the original video because I completely forgot I said I'd show off the insides of this Wolf Alice box set. Um, so yeah, I'm in a completely different room now, um, because I've moved out back into my original house in a different room. But yeah, that's besides the point. Here's the Wolf Alice box set. First off, of course, there is the album the my love is cool album um it's a shame it isn't the limited edition gold one which i know came out at one point but either way it's still really cool to have this it's a gatefold one um yeah it sounds beautiful on vinyl it's um for those who remember my favorite album of 2015 don't know if i said that in my little um brief bit i said before but yeah um Next up, I realise I probably should have covered this up, so the editing of this one's going to be annoying, but it's got two 10-inch um, EPs here, first one being Blush, um, which is probably my favourite of the two um, of the two EPs they did. Um, of course, the song's Blush, She, Nosedive, and 90 Mile Beach. Um, I believe they did... They didn't do Nosedive when I saw them live last year, but they did the rest of the EP, so that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, really great EP, and of course they have the Creature Songs EP also, um, and I think they only did Moaning Lisa Smile and Storms then. But yeah, Moaning Lisa Smile, which is probably one of, if not their most well-known song, along with like Bros and um, You're a Germ, um, and then the Storms, Heavenly Creatures and We're Not the Same, Again, really, really good um, EP, and it's pretty cool they um, added these both into it because if you buy them separately on their own, it's not in the box set, it goes for a lot of money because they're really, really rare. Um, so, yeah, it's really cool that I actually own them. Um, and there's also a few other little goodies, including this little um, picture thing, um, photo booth sort of thing, which um, in the CD, um, it has pictures of photo booth stuff all over the um, booklet inside but it's cool they gave you a little slip thing um, it would have been nice if there was something more limited about this like they um, only printed out a few of these in each one um, or numbered them or each one has a different thing but I don't think it's like that I think it's just the same photo booth slip in all of them and then it comes with this little CD here um, it's called B-Sides Demos and Shit. Um, comes with a bunch of demos, um, some of the B-Sides, and that's really about it. Um, so yeah, there's like three, yeah, three demos that were previously unreleased. Um, 
there were movie of your life destroy me and wednesday and of course there's demos for bros and swallowtail both of which were re-recorded for the album and um then a few b-sides that were released um including the baby ain't made of china um song that was released um if you signed up to their email mailing list, you got that song for free. So that was pretty cool. Um, and I believe all of the B-sides were added into the deluxe edition that was released um, earlier last year. So, yeah, um, it also feels really weird, the cover of this. But, yeah, um, the older demos of the re-recorded songs do not sound good at all. Um, I know there's two no, there's two other versions of Bros apart from the album version, including this demo one here. Um, and the other one is the superior one out of the two previously recorded ones before the album. So it would have been nice if they put that on there, but it doesn't actually really matter. It's pretty cool that they added this little thing also. And then there's this photo book, which um, I don't think I've actually looked through, but it was done by... John O. White, as you can see there, who was a photographer who followed them around on tour. So I remember when they um, put a lot of stuff on Instagram, they put copyright John O. White. Um, so yeah, it's a cool little photo thing, pictures of the band throughout their 2015-2016 tour. Um, so yeah, um, don't really know what else there is to say about it. It's a pretty cool thing that they've added in here. Um, and yeah, that's really all that's in this box. I think that's everything if you take it out. Um, yeah, I don't know what that is. That may be, f yeah, that's a little thing for the CD to go in that I, and I didn't put it in there. Uh, oh well. Um, but yeah, um, one of my favourite things in my collection easily because I love the my Love Is Cool album, so it's really cool to own this limited edition box set, which I believe is now completely out of stock. I think it's sold out pretty quickly. I know there was very, very limited amount in the US, but in the UK, I think there was a few thousand released, um, pos possibly more than that, but yeah, it's completely out of stock now, so yeah, if um, you ever see it around, I definitely recommend it, especially if you're a fan of the Wolf Alice album or their EPs or like sort of like grungy folky sort of mixture sound it's just really really good um i did a review of it of the album when it first came out and it was also on my top 10 favorite albums of the year list as well so if you want to see my opinions about the album go check out those videos where i talk pretty in depth not really in depth but i mean i talk pretty extensively about my love for the album so yeah that was a pain in the ass to get back on there because where I've got my vinyls, I've got my CDs up next to it so that I took it out and all the vinyls fell down because they're balancing on that. But yeah, finally we're on to the 7 inches. Um, for those of you who don't know, 7 inches are basically singles or EPs. Um, they're smaller, small 7 inch um, things. So yeah, I say things like I completely forgot what a vinyl was. So I've got a few really cool ones, as I said, I've got Van, but we'll talk about that when we get to it. First up, we got one of the coolest records in my collection. Um, I really want to own the album this single is from, but it's completely out of print on vinyl at the moment, so I can't get it. But um, this single is cheap, um, really fucking cool picture disc. It is The Pioneers by Block Party. Block Party are a great band, Silent Alarm is one of the best albums in the indie rock genre in general and the pioneers is probably my favorite on the album and this picture disc is just fucking beautiful i love it so much it was really cheap i think i got it for like four or five pounds um one of the best purchases i've made in my life it's so cool um it does come with a remix on the other side i think from mystery jets and i don't like mystery jets um it's not even a remix no it's a cover it's a really fucking bad cover by Mystery Jets. As I said, I don't like Mystery Jets to begin with, so them covering a block party song was never going to be good, especially since they completely reinvented, which I guess I can kind of give them props for not just doing a, like a karaoke version of it. They made it their own, but I don't know. The Mystery Jets version's not great, so yeah. Um, the next two I actually got at a gig recently. Um, um, I got to see them um, a couple of days before my birthday, actually. They were playing nearby. Um, a band that I really liked that was supporting Vant um, last year when I first saw them, but we missed them. Um, we actually got there late and didn't get to see them, sadly. So when I saw that they were doing a tour and they were playing nearby, before my birthday, I was like, 
I have to go because um, I really dig the band. They're this really good indie rock band called Get In You It. I got two of their singles. First one being their first EP, um, which is called 001, I think. Um, I can't remember. <laughs> but um, yeah, um, this is actually the last copy in the world. Um, when I um, went to the gig, um, it was one of the last shows of the tour and they had it on sale. They had it taped up on the wall and they were basically I basically said can I um get this record and they were like yeah you can the only issue is we have to say um this has been like a display one we've had on the wall um it's the last one we have left um, um this was actually two of the band members that said this um so they said you can have it but um there's a possibility it may not play because it's gone around um the UK and around the world with us um so that was really cool that I got to own the last copy of this. And it did play, um, has some really, really great tracks on this EP. Um, Cutie Pie and Bloat is probably my favourite band, um, track by the band. They're, um, kind of like indie rock mixed with like power pop in a way. Um, very similar to Weezer in some ways, um, which they've said themselves. They, um, I just really dig them. Um, I cannot wait for their album when it eventually comes out. So yeah, this is a great EP also. And then we have their single Teriyaki, which I love also. Um, I'm really sat far away, so these singles look so small, but I had to sit away for um, the, cause the 12 inches are so big. Um, but yeah, this is a great single, has um, um, two really, really good B sides, although one's on the A on the A side of it. Um, it's Middle Class, which is one of my favorite songs by him, which they didn't actually do live when I got to see him, which I was kind of disappointed about. Um, but um, there's a great B-side called Growing Backwards, which is this acoustic song, which actually reminds me a lot of like Elliot Smith in a way. Um, so that was pretty cool. Um, I really dig this single. It's really cool. Next up, we get on to the Vamp ones, which is actually the last singles I've got. Um, so it's almost done, I promise. First up, we have their first single, Parasite slash Do You Know Me. Um, as I said, I own all their singles, so this is pretty cool. Um, as a collector like I am. Um, this is a really cool coloured one. I got this at their London gig, the second London gig I saw them at, at Scala. Um, and I was actually briefly in the music video for Do You Know Me, um, um, which they recorded there. You can see me for like a fraction of a second, so look out for that. Um, but um, yeah, I thought this EP, this um, single was completely out of stock because I couldn't find it online anywhere. It wasn't on their website or anything like the others were or on any website ever or anywhere I looked. Um, but they sold it at the show and I got it and it's cool and I love it and yeah. Next up we have Parking Lot and The Answer. It's in this really tatty sleeve, so sorry about that. Um, one of my mates got me this for Christmas a couple years ago. Um, and I was really excited when I got it because um, I was just getting into the band at the time and they just announced their UK tour afterwards and I was like, we have to go see them. And we did and it was a great show. Um, so yeah, another really cool coloured one. Two great tracks. I love this one. Now we have a Record Day exclusive one which I was kind of annoyed about because I didn't actually get it on Record Day. I like Record Store Day, I got it afterwards I found online. But then they put like all the leftover ones they had, like they had a few left over in their store um, and they signed them all before they sell them. So I didn't get it signed, but I got the original um, version of Fly by Alien. Um, it's a glow in the dark one, but I can't seem to get it to glow in the dark, which is a shame. I've tried it, but it doesn't seem to glow. But um, yeah, it's really cool. Also, this great B-side called Cold War Sites, which is... Um, uh, fucking fantastic song um it wasn't even on the deluxe edition of their album which is a shame it might have been actually was it i can't remember now um but yeah really really solid track now we have karma seeker the only one of them that isn't a colored one it's just standard black um it's actually the only seven inch now i think about it that isn't colored that's strange um but yeah um, it's also got the B-sides, Welcome to the Wonderful World of Berners Lee and Bride Me to My Grave, two really solid tracks. Um, and I just love this cover of it. Um, yeah, I love it. Finally there, Peace and Love, um, a signed record. Um, it was actually, um, there's been a big problem with some of the vamp vinyls, actually. I've had, um, this was the first one I had a problem with, actually, where I bought the signed vinyl, but it arrived and wasn't signed. And... 
pretty much everyone who purchased a signed one didn't get a signed one. So they like contacted the store and they were like, oh, um, sorry about that. We'll send you a signed one. Keep the original. We'll give you a signed one, which was so cool. Um, another problem I have with them is a lot of them skip. Um, this one skips on um, all, my, all Our Babies, the B-side, and the album skips on the first track of each side. Um, and I had two turntables. I had a really cheap one, um, and I just got a expensive one, an audio technical one. Um, and they skip on both, and I have a couple of mates that have the album on vinyl, and theirs literally is unplayable because I skip so much. So there's a big problem with Bant's vinyls, it seems. Um, but I'm glad I own them, and I love Peace and Love. It's my favourite song, but oh god, it just fell out. It was red. I forgot it was red. Um, but yeah. My favourite song by him, obviously I'm wearing a shirt, I've got a poster of it um, on my wall. Yeah, Van, there we go. Two hours this took to record, two fucking hours. And I haven't even recorded all, oh no, I haven't recorded any of the um, close up bits because I recorded some of them, I think I deleted them. Um, so this video is still not done, it's going to take ages to come out. Right, I'm gonna go kill myself now because I just can't be bothered anymore. Thanks for watching guys. Um, I'll probably do updates sometime soon when I get more vinyls, but I'll probably wait until I have a few so I have a bit to talk about. And I promise they won't be two hours again, so that's done. You don't have to watch this again for two hours, so... I'm so deflated now. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.